Hi, my lovely Libras. This is All Is Mine Tarot, and I'm here to do a general energy check-in for you at this time. The cards have already been pre-shuffled with your energies. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. Spirit, please give us clear, guided, and divine insight for what our lovely Libras might be experiencing at this moment in time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirits. Wow, okay, so... Um, we are starting off with the card of disruption here. <clears throat> now, disruption could be good or bad, so we will definitely dive right in, but the color of the card is so freaking cute. So, this very well might be a good disruption. Let's find out. Caution. Interesting. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like you are in an energy here where you are being very cautious of your surroundings here. It's like you might have recently experienced some sort of a disruption in your life or I feel like your, um, I feel like your alerts are on high right now in case of any disruption but I did open the deck and I saw the card of trust so spirit is really wanting you to trust your situation trust yourself trust your intuition your guidance here on the situation um, I feel like spirit might not be wanting you to be stuck in um it feels like fight or flight mode here because <clears throat> we all know that's not healthy so let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say here. What else do we have for our lovely Libras? What else do we have, spirit? Okay, so we're starting off with the hermit here. Um, you might be currently in an energy here where you are spending a lot of time alone here a lot of time doing your inner healing a, a lot of inner soul work here um you know it feels like you're trying to bring in a new solid beginning for yourself something that you can trust is what it feels like let's see what else we have what else do we have for oh goodness the three of swords yeah so you might be going through um a dark night of the soul here <clears throat> it feels like um you're taking some time out because something happened here that caused you some heartbreak or heart pain some sort of major disruption in your life the page of swords interesting so <clears throat> we will get further clarification here to see what or who this page of swords is here in your energy field ace of swords some sort of message is going to come in for you libra <clears throat> Um, some sort of message here. This could be a message from your friends or if this is something to do with a connection that you have recently parted from, it could be from one of their friends as well. There may have also been a third party situation. doesn't have to be. You might be taking time out to go hang out with your friends as well. Uh, we also have temperance here. So um, I feel like whatever this message is here is going to further your healing process. Yeah, this I feel like this is definitely something to do with um, a relationship or a love connection here. Now, what is this hermit for Libra? Yeah... So you or your person may have recently walked away from this connection here, um, whatever, or, and if this isn't love, this is something that you have walked away from that felt heavy to you, it felt like a lot of heavy weight, uh, a lot of burden 
on your shoulders here. Now, this could be even just emotionally, but whatever this is, either you walked away to find your peace in your healing or... <clears throat> Or the person you're dealing with walked away. What is this? Three of Swords. King of Pentacles. So you could have been dealing with an earth, earth sign or someone with heavy earth in their chart. Doesn't have to be. Um, it also could be a Pisces because Eight of Cups is a card of Pisces. So it feels like... Um, <clears throat> It feels like this earth sign broke your heart here. We also have the five of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like the, it feels like they left you high and dry here. And it feels like you're still like trying to really understand the whole situation here. Now, if that's not the case here, <clears throat> It feels like if this King of Pentacles is you, it feels like you are coming off to people, your friends and family with this um, really grounded front, but really inside you, you're feeling some heartbreak and heart pain. So take it, how whatever, take it however it fits for you, but um, I do see the Five of Cups here. So I do, um, I do see a lot of grief and sadness here in your energy field. Now, what is this Page of Swords? The Chariot. <clears throat> yeah, so I feel like with this Page of Swords here, you are really learning about sorry I have people outside okay anyways so with this page of swords here I feel like you're really um learning about the direction you want to take your life here you're looking towards the future regardless of any of this heartbreak or heart pain here which is beautiful to see so it feels like you're really taking the time to do the inner healing the inner work and to really figure out what you want with your life yeah so the six of wands came out right under the ace of swords here so <clears throat> now this is interesting we also have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck so You could be receiving a message here from this person that you were with or somebody from your past here. And whatever this message is or whatever this clarity is here for you here is going to leave you in an energy of feeling victorious, um, being seen being heard gaining i mean now this is interesting so if this is love <clears throat> this message that comes through might make you feel really good and if this is nothing related to love here it feels like you are going to receive this major breakthrough in regards to some sort of a goal wish hope or dream that you've had on your mind or your heart here and you're going to know how to move forward in a successful way like you will be seen you will be heard and whatever this is for you now what is this temperance card we got the nine of wands the wounded warrior here so yeah you're it feels like you are in an energy of moving away from this heartbreak here. I feel the progression here and it's like you're you're standing strong. You're figuring out the direction of your life. You're receiving your clarity, your wisdom, your insight, your success here. And you are the wounded warrior who is taking the time out to really heal and trust in divine timing here. Trusting in the universe and source. 
for to help aid you in your life's mission and your plan here we have the king of cups at the bottom of the deck here so it's like yeah i feel like um you're healing or you have healed from this situation here and you're standing emotionally stable and emotionally strong here and i split the deck and the wheel of fortune came out it's like you're ready to take on major new beginnings changes whatever life has for you you are ready and you are game so let's get some advice for you let me get some advice so we have the Four of Cups and the Devil. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> your advice here is to say no. Say no to toxic situations. Say no to this karmic here that you've been dealing with say no to this ball and chain because like I said if this is love here someone might come out to to um, reach out to you and you know it showed the card of the past or a person from the past so this person might come reaching out to you and wanting a successful outcome with you but your advice here is to say no to this toxicity but these are just, um, you know, this is, this is, you know, tarot is fluid. You are free to do whatever you want with your situation here. So ultimately, I would say trust your intuition here. But your advice from spirit is to say no to um, things that are not in alignment with you here. And we also have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is... Um, a card about you know finding balance giving and receiving so know who and what you want to give your energy to Alrighty, my loves well i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did feel free to comment down below as you see fit like share subscribe and i will catch you on the next one bye